So if we're looking for if we're looking for the total distance traveled, we got to find where where the where the sum of the value of the distances where it's going from you know to the right and then to the left. So we got to find when is it changing direction. And if we looked at that, the best way we know it about direction is the velocity, looking at the velocity function. And if we look at the velocity function, we know it's positive, then you know, we could say the graph, the particle is moving to the right. And if it's you know, negative, it's moving to the left. So the first thing I'll want to do is obviously go ahead and write in my velocity function. And again, I'm just skipping over a. I know you guys already have a. But um, just make sure whenever we're talking about the velocity, just make sure you put that velocity function into context. That is the um, position function, uh, the derivative of the position function. So as I kind of already did in my head, that's a 6t squared plus 6t minus 36. All right. So what we want to do is we want to find the turning points within the first three seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, first thing, let's go and try to find where is it turning? Where does where this graph change from positive to negative? So what we want to do for that is find basically the zeros. So we're going to play for, um, equal to 0, because once you guys agree when you're looking at position function, like when you have, when the velocity is equal to 0, that's changing from positive to negative. When we looked at the, the, the extrema, basically we're looking at. So we're looking at when velocity is equal to 0. <sighs> so therefore, here I can factor out a 6, and I'm left with t squared plus t minus 6. That can uh, divide out. So therefore, I'm left with 0 equals t squared minus t. Uh, let's factor that out. What two numbers multiply to give me negative 6 add to give me positive 3? So that would be t plus 3 and t minus 2. Again, remember t represents seconds. So therefore, t equals negative 3 and t equals 2. However, for the context of this problem, ladies and gentlemen, do we really care about um, how far it traveled at negative 3 seconds? No, because we're talking about from how far does it travel from 0 to negative 3, right? So for the context of this problem, that one doesn't really work. All right, so what we have is the particle is going in one direction, positive or negative, until 2 seconds. And then at 2 seconds, it changed direction. And um, it's possibly going in another direction. Correct? Or we got to go ahead and check. So let's go and see what the uh, distance is. Or let's go and see you know, what exactly it is. So we're going to take our position function. And let's figure out at s of 0. So I could do 2 times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 36 times 0 plus 40. So we could say at s is 0 equals 40. Now, um, now we want to go ahead and check in for s of 2. And going in and check in s of 2. So that's going to be 2 times 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 36 times 2 plus 40. So those 2 cubed is 8, so that equals 16. That's 4, so that's 12. That's going to be a negative 72 plus 40. Uh, so let's do that goes down to negative 32. That goes down to um, positive 38. So negative 32 minus 38 is going to be a um, negative 32. 4 is 8. Um, Where's my work? It change. I'm sorry? Because I want to decide where the initial position is. So the initial position, it's at 40. That's exactly its initial. At 0 seconds, it's at 40. Okay. Because again, we, this, is, this is the function that's modeling like where it's at. Um, that is negative 32. 
Huh? Yeah, it's 28 minus 32. Thank you. I was like, so therefore that's negative 4. So S of 2 equals negative 4. And then last but not least, let's go into finding S of 3. S of 3 is 2 times um, 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared minus 36 times 3 plus 40. 3 cubed is going to be 27. 3 times uh, 3 times 9. 36 times 3 is going to be 36, 72. Um, that's going to be 108. Four, 3 times 9 is going to be plus 27 minus 108 plus 40. Um, let's go ahead and combine all my positives together and kind of see where that gives up. So this one becomes uh, 54 plus 27 is going to be 81 plus 40 would be 121 minus 108. Does everybody follow? Okay. And therefore that equals negative 13. Positive 13. Thank you. So now we can say da, 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 S of 3 equals positive 13. Okay. So one thing that we notice is we're going from a um, positive to a negative and then back over to a negative to a positive. So we can see that the is, in fact, actually changing. Correct? Yes? All right. So now what we need to do is then find, well, how far did it travel from s of 0 to s of 2? How far did it travel? And all we're trying to do is just find the displacement, just find the change. But again, we're trying to find the absolute value. We're not looking for if it's negative or positive. So the total, total distance traveled is going to be the absolute value of negative 4 minus 40 plus absolute value of 13 minus 4. Uh, that's a negative 4. Okay, so negative 4 minus 40 is going to be, absolute value of that is 44. And 13 minus a negative 13 is going to be 17. 44 plus 17 is going to be 63. And then again, we go into, and we're traveling in feet. So we can go 63 feet. How do I get where? 17? It's minus a negative 4. So it's really positive. I forgot to add that 4. Anybody have any questions?